As you all know, the Deputy Prime Minister of Australia has on behalf of Australia, Malaysia and China um, announced um, a new phase in which the search for MH370 is on right now. Today I would like to announce uh, together with uh, Minister Liao Tiong Lai um, regarding our plans and the way forward for Malaysia. The Bungamas Enam, which is our Navy vessel, has been in Australia from the time it was deployed quite a few months ago. There was no uh, point in time where Malaysian assets were not part of that continued search. But as we move forward, um, we have decided that more assets are going to be deployed in Malaysia, from Malaysia. And uh, I would like to announce today that the Royal Malaysian Navy, the vessel KD Mutiara, with this multi beam Echo Sandra, will be deployed, deployed and will set sail on the 4th of August 2014. Petronas, together with Deathpack and Phoenix International, will deploy a process side scan sonar to synthetic aperture sonar. And that has been agreed upon and will be deployed immediately. Bastard Heavy Industries, together with IX Blue Australia, will be deploying a deep toed side scan sonar with a remotely operated vehicle ROV mounted on the mother vessel called John Lethbridge. These are details of what I have announced earlier regarding the plans for deep sea search and moving outside the box in getting as many third parties, including commercial companies, on board in the next the net, the new search. So exhibitions such as this allows us to maintain that momentum, to keep not only memories, but the plan as we move forward alive. And exhibitions such as this allows me and Minister Liao to actually engage more third parties to come on board in the search. I will be distributing the press release to the media so that there will be no um, miscommunication with regards to the sort of deployment of assets that uh, we are going to do in the next few weeks. Um, but that is over and above what has been deployed by the Australians using a Dutch vessel, the Equator, and also the Chinese bathymetric vessel that is already in the location um, that has been announced. So the tripartite agreement has been uh, implemented. The 26 nations of ASEAN are on board. The five nations of the five power defense arrangements, including the United Kingdom, um, New Zealand, and also Singapore, have also put it down on paper that they are with us all the way. Next week, I'll be going to the Middle East. Uh, to talk to some of our friends on how they can now come on board to assist with the, with the, with the continued um, planning uh, for the search. I hope this gives hope to the families. I hope this gives encouragement to those already in the search. But uh, more important than that, I, I see that there is so much good will that has been created because I can confirm there's not a single country out there putting aside speculation, putting aside geopolitical considerations, putting aside um, incidents uh, that come and go over rocks in the South China Sea. Um, the support for the set for 7370 was this unwavering for every single country that, is, um, I've, that I've spoken to. So today, um, again, I take the opportunity to thank the media, both local and international, 
because your role in helping me and uh, that we all maintain that momentum and make sure that the memories and also the information that, is, that unfolds on a daily basis uh, is alive if, if at all for the, for the families that are still hoping. <coughs> Any questions? Yes. Can we stick to NHT 17 chats? We'll talk about many things later. Compensation. We, I touched on the deployment of assets just now, um, and this is uh, to fulfill what I have uh, announced earlier, and to try and convince the public out there that what I have said is not mere rhetoric. The second most important uh, aspect would be compens compensation for the next of kin. As you know, we have formed four um, cabinet or ministerial committees. They've been led by three deputy ministers who will be answerable to me and Dr. Yao and eventually to Yang Mahmoud at the Sinajit in Abu Raza. Um, one of them involves the next of kin and they've been led by Hamza Zainudi and uh, um, Hamza's uh, committee briefed us last week and they have uh, certain timelines in which uh, the compensation can be done and they're working closely with the AG and the NES, uh, on that. I do not want to preempt what they want to announce but you have to uh, appreciate there are 14 I mean countries, um, uh, families from 14 nations involved and uh, not all have the same uh, requests and, and, and concerns so it is a very uh, complex matter but so far as John Paul Trudeau told me, he was the head of the French investigation team. Having to look after the welfare of the families was the most difficult. And that is something that uh, both Yao and I will be uh, monitoring that community. Up to, to up to date has been borne by all the parties concerned themselves. It didn't cost the, the team or Malaysia a single cent, and that must be reminded uh, every day. Secondly, moving forward, um, the equipment that we're going to use or we need, um, and the companies and contractors that do have the equipment can be counted in the fingers of one hand. So the assets that I announced just now to be deployed by Petronas, by Bowster, by Separat in China, the tender process that was done by the ACC, um, the Chinese um, uh, vessel that's doing the biometric right now, um, that have not, we have not calculated the cost. But the amount that I, uh, the assets that we have uh, announced just now, I hope that will you. Um, will be borne by the commercial companies from Malaysia. The uh, sharing of costs uh, is still being negotiated, but I think it is, it is only fair as we move forward that we do uh, both China um, and Australia together with Malaysia find a, a way to share and bear the cost. I don't think it is a, a major problem because the relationship between the three nations and all those involved is very good. We continue to meet them, and uh, it's impossible to deal with all the families. 
and this request to meet the Prime Minister was done from the first day. And I know that the Nigeria has met them uh, in some occasions, but it is impossible to meet every single family and deal with every single request. That, that continues to be, to be the case, and that will be under the committee on any case to be let down just a little. On, on what? Because they've been, the investigations have got many directions. We were talking about... First is street tripartite. Malaysia is not alone. We have the experts from China. We have the Australians working with us. The agency is under the tripartite arrangement and the committee is involved with the talking below the radar. CIA, FBI, Chinese intelligence, MI6. We were talking about experts uh, on radar and satellite, we've got IMASAT, MPSP, APSP, CACC. We are talking about commercial airline, we are talking about we've got Airbus, we've got Boeing, we've got Rolls Royce. So basically, you have to be a bit more specific in asking me where are we going to go forward in respect to the investigation. Sir, do you have any time frame for the next phase of the... None whatsoever. But what is more important, I think what the family wants to know, Whatever the, the country is, the search will not stop until we find it. Okay, let me have a look at the photographs. Last question. Uh, the Zaman uh, is under the purview of Wisma Putra, as you know. And uh, Anifa Aman is working uh, very closely with me. And I've always said that uh, what is wrong is wrong. And uh, justice must not only be done, but it is, must be seen to be done. And that is why we have uh, requested that uh, he uh, goes back to New Zealand to help with the investigation. That was decided at the cabinet uh, level. And uh, basically, uh, the Attorney General's office, the, um, the military, and also the Foreign Office is working very closely with the New Zealand authorities. The temperature with regards to that case has uh, reduced tremendously from when the news broke out. Secondly, um, when we're talking about justice, it's not only justice to the um, accused, I mean justice to um, the accuser, but also to the accused. So I, I hope that by returning back, to New Zealand for investigations, um, he will not be faced with trial by media or trial by the public opinion. So it has to be, he has to be well um, also um, uh, looked after. And I have that, I have that insurance from the New Zealand uh, authorities that he will be the case. When he is going back, uh, I believe that the Attorney General is working with the New Zealand how to mention it. This is an allegation by Dr. Siano Ibrahim. Uh, I know where that's coming from. And he has been saying about cover up for all things. He also said that he could find the, the aeroplane within a day. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys again. Let me go through this very painful.